this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Today we're looking at the brand new M-Tracker 3D cinematic title pack. All right, on to the tutorial. Once you have installed M-Tracker 3D Cinematic Titles Pack via M-Installer, it can be located in your titles under M-Tracker 3D Expansions. Now, keep in mind that if you have any other expansions, you may have to scroll down just a bit. As you can see, we have our Captions Pack. It is in alphabetical order. Then we see our Cinematic Titles Pack. To get a real-time preview, you can take your cursor and scrub over to see the animations and the fonts. You'll also notice that we have 25 titles and we have 25 lower thirds. Each of these titles and lower thirds are going to correspond and work together. So for instance, if you're using title number one, then you would want to then use your lower third number one so that your animations, fonts, and the overall feel are going to match. Then you can see title number 10 has a specific look to it and lower third 10 is going to match. Now, of course, you will need to also have the M-Tracker 3D plugin installed, and that is going to be over in your effects. We have a lot of M-Tracker 3D tutorials, so we're going to just very quickly go through this. To apply M-Tracker 3D, drag it onto your clip, and you can click track. Now, based on the length of your video clip, the machine you're using, etc., the time that it takes to track is going to vary. For this tutorial, we are speeding up our tracking process so that we can get into taking a look at the cinematic titles pack. We're going to go ahead and track this second clip as well. Now, sometimes you will have some issues if you are tracking clips with reflections, so you would want to mask out the water. This water was actually quite still, so we had some pretty good luck tracking without the masks. But if you are ever having tracking issues over anything reflective, we do have tutorials for that as well. Mask out your reflections and then do the tracking and you should be good to go. All right, so I'm just going to show you two examples. One is going to be an example of text floating above the ground and we'll do some shadows. And then we will do some floating above the water with some reflections. So let's start with our shadows. Here, we're going to select the clip that we're using, come over to our inspector and click copy track so that we have that track now copied. And then we can select which text we're going to use in our cinematic titles pack. Now in our intros, we were using title number eight and lower third number eight. So let's just go ahead and click that. We will drag it in above our clip, retime our title to match. And with our title selected, let's click paste track. And now we have uh, pasted the track, done tracking data saved successfully and we can use our target icon and you can see our 3d gizmo is reacting to all of the environment around us here now for this i did like having the text just right over here in this clean area i'm going to hold shift and it is going to orient my 3d gizmo now and i'm just going to click and there we have our title placed let me come over into my inspector here. Let's turn off our target there over in our inspector. Uh, we do have animations in and out, and then we have our speed in and out that you can modify. And then we have our position, rotation, and scale. So I'm just going to scale this up really good so we can see it. Let's go to our content position and bring that over on X a bit. And then I'm going to go to my rotation and I'm going to rotate that so that it is sort of like the perspective there of how our shadows are going. And I might do Z just a little bit just to straighten that up. Let's make sure that our track looks good. And it does. It's perfect. Awesome. So I want this to be kind of floating above the ground a bit. So we're going to go over to our header position and let's just bring this up 
by a couple pixels. So it's at 0.3. Let's just go 2.3. Matter of fact, let's just go 1.3. That looks good. Then we can do our title position as well. Let's go 1.2. And let's bring our line up, our line of position. Since we're at 2.4, we'll go 3.4. There we go. Let's go down in our inspector and let's turn our shadows on. You can see a very faint shadow there at the bottom. I'm gonna turn our opacity up just so we can see it a good bit. And then I want to change the lighting just a bit so that our shadows match a bit better. So let's go up, up to our light. Let's bring our ambient light up a little bit. And then let's go ahead and change our lighting angle and our lighting rotation so that we've got the sun is kind of in the same spot. So it's casting that shadow down. I'm going to bring my angle back a bit and let's do our distance. Cool. Lighting angle can go back a little bit more. About right there awesome now for our shadows I'm going to soften that up and why don't we select the color of our shadow here by using our shadow color and then our eyedropper tool and we will just select the natural shadow of the ground and now that is a very realistic shadow there from our title so you can see here that is just animating in we've got our shadow there on the ground and then it animates right back out. Now, of course, uh, we didn't go over this, but I can show you really quickly over in our inspector. You can make changes to any of the text. You can turn the header on and off if you'd like, the title, etc. We can change this to, we'll just say George Edmondson to keep it simple. And then if we wanted to bring that title over a bit more, since Edmondson is now cut off, we can just bring that over on X and there you go track is still in good position and good shape all right moving on to our next clip it is the same process we need to make sure we copy our track and let's use our title this time so let's bring in title number eight make sure that it is aligned there for our track highlight our title and we will paste our track, click done. We're done, so click OK. And then we can use our target and our 3D gizmo here. Let's hold shift. And why don't we just set it right there in the middle of the water, nice and big. We can bring the content scale down just a bit. There we go, that looks pretty cool. And let's make sure that our track looks good. It does look good. And I really actually like this because we're using, let me turn my target off. We're using where it says MVFX Studio Original. We're kind of using that white text on this bridge and that looks really cool actually. And you can see that that track is absolutely perfect. It just kind of sticks there and then leaves. Awesome. So why don't we go over in our inspector again, we've got our animations in and out and our speed in and out so we can slow that down or you can speed that up as you would like. I'm going to slow both down. We've got our content position, rotation, scale and such. We can rotate that just a little bit if we wanted and I'm talking like 0.1. Okay, let's go 0.3. we go negative 0.4 let's see what that does there we go so now that is absolutely perfectly aligned with our bridge there just rotating that slightly and we can go down if you wanted to make any changes of course like i said to your header you do so here and your text you can change your fonts and then you've got your title beneath you've got colors if you wanted to make any changes to your color and all of your lighting and such now we are not going to turn shadows on for this because we are doing reflection so let's toggle on our reflection and you can see our reflection right there beneath 
we can turn up or down our reflectivity. So think of reflectivity as basically as opacity. So we can turn that up a good bit because we definitely want to see it and we want it to kind of match the natural reflections that we're getting from our bridge. But we also want to blur that naturally as well. So let's just set that blur a bit better. There we go. And we do have our fall off distance and an exponent. So if you kind of watch the bottom there, that is going to just kind of feather that off. So I think that that looks pretty good around five or so. Yeah, that looks really, really cool. And there you have it. We have really quickly and really easily done that track. It is really beautiful. It just kind of comes in. It's nice and reflective. You know that it's a perfect track because of the header there on top of the bridge. And then it goes right back out. And that is it from me. Thank you for checking out this brand new M Tracker 3D cinematic titles tutorial. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.